Hi. Right, I'm going to have a look now at the Advanced DCDL test for Access 2007 uh, using reports. And for reports, it's very unlikely that you'll be asked to create a report from scratch. It's more likely that you're going to be asked to modify a report. I've got one here that I've already started, which is a manager's list. If I expand that, I'm double-clicking on it. Now I'll get rid of this to make a bit more space. Okay, I'm going to start off by having a look at concatenating different fields. So here we've got the first name and the surname separately. And it's more likely that we would have these joined together as one. So the first question is asking us to concatenate these two fields, put them together. So if I go into the design view, I'm going to delete these two. And I'm going to add in a new field, which is a text box. I'm going to put some code in to add them together. I'm going to start off with an equal sign. And then using a square bracket, so I'm going to put the first field name in. First name. Then I'm going to use an ampersand and a space. Another ampersand to join these together. I'll put in the surname. Oops, Daisy spelt it wrong. And if I run this again, you see now it's putting these two names together. Uh, I've got to change the headings here though. Oops, Daisy. Go back into design view. I'll get rid of these two. In fact, I'll just modify this one. I'll put in their name. I'll put that in uppercase. And there, that's concatenated these two fields. Right, now I'm going to have a look at changing the report heading. So I'd like to change this heading here. Make a couple of changes to it. I'm going to call it manager list for one thing. So I'll highlight that now and just type in new text. And I want to change some properties to it. I've got the property sheet displayed here already. If I hadn't, then I could right click on this field. So I'll finish that off. Right click on the field and go into properties and it will display. Go into the format option. See here it says manager list, which is what I've just typed in. I make a few different changes to it. I'll start off, I think, by making it bold. I'm going to make it underline, uh, sorry, italic. <coughs> and I'm going to change the size of the font. It's well worth having a look down all of these different options though and seeing all of the different things that you can do to, to change it. But that's all it's asked us to do in this particular question, so I'll leave that as is. I also want to have a go at grouping now. So if we see if we have a look at this at the moment. I wanted to group them by manager, so having a look at all of the employees per manager. It doesn't make much sense to have Kelvin Bovis uh, copied down here for all of them. I'd like really to have Kelvin Bovis typed at the top here and everyone listed underneath him. And to do that, we're going to use grouping. So I'll go back into design view again. And here we've got options about grouping and sorting and totals. And that's put on by this toggle button at the top. If I click that off, it goes off. Click again, and it comes on. And that's in the design ribbon. So now I want to group it by manager ID. So I'm going to click on the add group. And it comes up automatically here by the manager ID. So now we get an extra option here, an extra space that we can put information in. So I'm going to highlight these two fields. I need to cut them. I'm going to use Control and X, but you can use the right click and cut as well if you prefer. Click back in here and do Control V, or again you can right click and paste. 
don't need quite as much space. If I run this again, you see now I've got the boss's name here and all of his employees listed underneath, which makes quite a bit more sense. However, I've got these two additional headings here that now I can get rid of. So I'll click and delete, click and delete. As well as the grouping, I'd like to be able to add a, add a sort. If I have a look at this report at the moment, all of these uh, employees are in random order and I'd like them to be in alphabetical order by first name. So if I go back into the design view and down at the bottom, if I click on add a sort, I can sort by, I think I'll add sort by surname. First of all, that makes more, more sense than the first name. And if I view this again, now you'll see that it's sorted by surname here. Go back in the design view. Right, I would like to display a footer for the managers. I've got a heading for each manager, but I haven't got a footer for each, for each manager. I've only got a page footer. And I'd like to display um, a footer for each manager so I can put a total in there. So I'm going to go into the more for the group on manager and say that I would like to change this from without a footer section to with a footer section. And in here I'd like to put a total. So I'm going to count the records here. Put a count in there automatically and if I see here scroll down oops, it shows us that the first manager has got 20 employees so if I go back into the design layout and here I need to go into the properties tab again so if I click my right mouse button and go onto properties and go into the data tab, we've got an option here for running sum. I change that from no to over the group. And then run that again. And you'll see now I've got for the first boss I've got 20 records. And instead of 18 for the second boss, I've got 38 because it's added 18 onto the previous 20. So that's how you uh, add a running total on. Right at the moment, the manager's reports are flowing over from one page to another. So we've got Kelvin Bovis's list. And we've got Brian Colbert's onto the same page and it looks a bit confusing. So it'd be nicer if Brian Colbert started on a fresh page. So if I close the print, pre, uh, print layout, and to do this, I need to go into the manager's heading and I want to display the properties tab again. So if I click the right mouse button and do properties and on the format menu, I want to go into force new page and change that to before section. Close that off now, finish with it. And if I go into print preview, see each manager is on a new page. There's Kelvin. And here's the second chap, Brian Colbert, and so on and so forth. So every manager will be on a new piece of paper. So on this question, it's asking us to create a sub-report to show all of the courses attended by a manager in the foot footer for the, each manager. So I'm going to create a bit of space here first. And to create a sub-report, we use this option here. So you need to go on to the design ribbon and use this option to create a sub-report. You need to click and drag the area underneath here to show the sub-report. And it opens up a wizard. And the, sh the report should already be, be uh, created. So click on the one that I want and click on Next. 
And it's asking us what common information links the two reports. So it's the manager ID in the sub-report and the manager ID in the main report that links the information. So I'll click on Next. And it, now it's asking for a name, which I can accept the default on this occasion. I'll click on Finish. I'll make this a little bit smaller because I think that's going to get outside the size of my report. Will it fit on one page? Now if I view the report in print preview, you'll see that I've got the manager, Kevin Bovis, list of all of his employees, and then underneath that I've got a list of the courses attended. Well he's just uh, attended one course which is the equity with the start and the finish date. If we go on to the next manager, there's a list of all of the employees and courses attended. He hasn't attended any. Go to the third one. And here he's attended one on manual lifting. I save that and close it. And that's the bulk of the information that you should know about reports. Now obviously it would be very useful to re, uh, read all of the information in the CIA manual or similar. Um, but I think the information that I've shown you in this video is the key information that you really, really must know before you sit the test. Okay, I hope that helps and good luck with your test.